Okay, here we go as I'm a chatterbox takes her spot in the starting gate and here's Beholder in the final race of her career going against Songbird and Stellar Wind and they're all in line. Roar comes up here at Santa Anita ready for the start. They're off in the Breeders' Cup distaff and oh, Stellar Wind did not break at all. She had a very slow start as Mike Smith sends Sungbird to the front and Beholder is right there and I'm a chatterbox is going to put some pressure on now too. And then it's Carolina away running in fourth position. Landover C is next. Stellar Wind who just did not come out of the gate well at all. It's about six lengths off the lead with the Argentinian Corona Del Inca alongside of her. Forever Unbridled is last and Sunbird leads the way through a 23 and one opening quarter mile. A solid first fraction for her but she's in the clear as they race on to the backstretch. I'm a chatterbox is running along in second position onto the backstretch run. And then comes Carolina Beholder on the outside is fourth. She's now four lengths off of Songbird up the backstretch. It's another two and a half to Stellar Wind. And Victor Espinosa has her six lengths off the lead right now. Then land over C forever unbridled and Corona Del Inca. So it's a 47 flat half for Songbird. Very easy for her as she continues her journey into the far turn with a length lead. I but Chatterbox continues to pursue in second. Beholder has not moved yet. Gary Stevens has not asked her to go as of yet. Now he's starting to ask just a bit. And she's a length and a half off of Songbird, third in the far turn. Songbird has taken on now. And here comes Beholder and a confrontation of champions as they come toward the top of the stretch. I'm a Chatterbox trying to cling to them. Stellar wins, got work to do. Songbird and Beholder. And they're into the stretch. And here we go. Songbird set down. Beholder is alongside. Forever unbridled is two and a half lengths behind them. Furlong to run. Songbird, Beholder, they are nose to nose. This race living up to its expected power as they come to the wire. Their nose is apart. It's Beholder. I think she got her head down on the wire. Songbird, Doug and Gamely all the way. The two of them right together. And then came forever unbridled. The final time was 1 minute 49.20 seconds. I believe Beholder did it. Beholder, what a performance in the Breeders' Cup distaff defeating Songbird. We have a couple of presentations. Juan Carlos Capelli of Longines, a very special presentation. Thank you. A beautiful timepiece. Very good. I don't even have a watch. No, you have a watch now. That is a nice watch. And also, Mr. Farish of the Breeders' Cup with the actual trophy presentation for the Longines Breeders' Cup distaff. Thank you, Lafitte. Uh, it's a huge honor today to give this to my friend B. Wayne Hughes for the second time. Wayne, congratulations. What a, what a thrill for all of us to witness what she did today. Songbird, what a duel it was. Wayne, only two horses. From you. Right. Only two horses in Breeders' Cup history have won three races. Goldakova and now Beholder. What does that mean to you as Beholder's owner? You know, I, I don't know about statistics and uh, what other horses have done, but uh, I have a pretty good horse here, and uh, we're delighted with the day and with Santa Anita for putting on a show like this. Well, you do know something about heart-pounding stretch drives. Take us through the emotions. What was like that at the very top of the stretch, Songbird and Beholder hooking up? I can only say I didn't close my eyes, <laughs> but I thought about it. <laughs> did you think Beholder won? Yeah, I, I did think that, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> Looking back at her career, she had lost a couple of races. The suggestion was that maybe she had lost a step or two. How important was it for Beholder to retire in the winner's circle of Breeders' Cup this staff champion? Well, I don't think Beholder knows, but to me it was very, <laughs> for, very important uh, for her to win uh, today. I mean, we were just absolutely delighted. Uh, I don't usually bet on races, but I bet on this race today uh, because the situation was so much better than what we had before. We uh, The last races I mean we ran into some really good horses and they just uh, you know they just beat us <laughs> thanks for continuing to race her and congratulations on yet another Breeders Cup win okay, thank you very much